Mrs. Panwa, good morning. Three bowls of extra spicy noodle. What did I tell ya? Nothing beats a bowl of spicy noodles in the morning. What do you say, Rover? Looks like Baijer's locked herself in the lab again. Hasn't left since yesterday. Bet we won't see her till she's done with her research. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure her out. We can tie you up at the Academy's entrance, and with just a few tucks of the rope, I bet every researcher will come running at you with Baijer leading the pack. Hook, line, and sinker. In case of an emergency, Rover, roll out! By the way, now that we figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, all that's left is that weird leaf and run-of-the-mill mangosteen, right? So it only took us one trip to the Academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madam Magistrate was gonna make it easy for us to begin with. What's our next plan of action, Rover? As for the mangosteen, we got people selling these at the market nearby. They might find some clues there. Mangosteens are not from Jinjo. These fruits are usually brought in by boat. Do you think the token is guiding us outside the city? An ocean of stars, a dark-haired girl, an inverted etheric sea, and the resonance cord flowing from your tacit mark. And you said it was flowing in a certain direction, pointing to the gorges of spirits and the Norfolk barons. Hmm. You've never mentioned this before. The etheric sea and resonance cords in your dreams are real, possibly leading to the gorges of spirits and Norfolk barons. Perhaps it was more than just a dream. That girl might be the key to recovering your memories. Madam Magistrate's information aside, it seems to me your dream points toward the Norfolk Barons. It's a site of the Thrinodian War and the source of all TD outbreaks. The Midnight Rangers' frontline space is stationed there as well. It's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city. My shift's coming up. Protect Rover well, and shoot me a message if you need anything, all right, Yang Yang? Without a doubt. Access pass is required. <clears throat> what is your business, young lady? It's my third shift and you're still here. Oh, uh, you must be the soldier on duty at noon yesterday. Nice to see you again. I'm a resonator and a trained martial artist. I can handle myself. Please. I need to go look for someone. I've promised the missing man's grandfather to bring him back. Would you let me through? Be that as it may. I cannot let you, given the current circumstances. My apologies. Well, everything seems fine in the city. Are things really that bad on the front lines? That's why we must stay vigilant, so people in the city can go on peacefully with their lives. Besides, General Gion is currently there at the Norfall Baron's base. Dangerous as it is, he will keep an eye on every soldier, including the one you're looking for. We have already sent a report on your case. You could just go home and wait for the good news. What's the point of staying here? Uh, thank you, but I have already asked the patrol station for help and tried every method I could think of. Please let me through. I promised him, so I gotta give it my all. I understand your concern. I don't want to be a bother. Would it help if I hid my presence and stayed somewhere further away? How about five miles? Or maybe a hundred? Well, a thousand might be too far, though. I wouldn't be able to see you clearly. <laughs> Listen, nobody knows when the soldiers will return, and even if they do, you might not find the one you seek. It's a dangerous road ahead if you want to reach the front lines, and you don't even have an access pass.
Hmm. Your access pass has been verified. Just you two? Greetings. I'm Jianxin. Could you please do me a favor? I want to go look for someone outside the city, but I don't have an access pass, so... May I tag along? Oh, thank you for your kindness. I intend to leave the city with them, and they have agreed. Will it be an issue for you? I, uh... Well, it says you have the highest level of access, so no procedural issues here. Honestly, he could lead an entire troop out of the city with that access pass, and no one would question it. Sure. So, you're looking for the relative of a veteran, and you believe he's in the Midnight Rangers camp in Desert Highland? Mm-hmm, exactly. His name is Ji Yuan. I don't know him in person. On my way down the mountain, I ran into his grandfather who was looking for his grandson on his own but ended up lost. I couldn't just leave an elderly person like him out there. So I thought I'd escort him to the nearest city and make further plans once we're safe. You're willing to go to such lengths with someone you don't know. You have a kind soul, Master Tianxing. It's all thanks to many kind-hearted people. Without them, Mr. Zhongya and I wouldn't have made it to Jinzhou. Mr. Zhongya seemed confused. He's gone through a lot searching for his enlisted grandson. Lending a helping hand was the least I could do. I reported his situation to the patrol station, but with the chaos on the front line, Mr. Zhongya has been extremely worried about his grandson's safety. He'd sneak out to look for his grandson the moment no one was watching. I'm really worried about him. According to what I've gathered, Mr. Zhongye's grandson is very likely in the Desert Rock Highland. Thanks to your help, I can finally leave the city to find him. Of course. You don't look like soldiers. Why are you here? The frontliners are right up ahead. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. A missing person. Ju Yan. The one you're looking for. Is he an average person? Not a resonator, I suppose. Yes. Have you seen him? Is he all right? I met him once. He's not officially enlisted, but he seemed determined to join us. He's been secretly following our troops since last year. I think a quartermaster of the rear guards escorted him away, so if he's not in the city, he must be in the rear guards camp. He can't be anywhere else. The actual front lines are right up ahead, and we, the Midnight Rangers, would never allow non-servicemen to approach and risk getting- Thank you. Now, if you're heading that way, I have a request for you, my outrider comrade. On your way there, you should run into two detection beacons. They just went offline. Could you go check on them? Sure, we will. Great. I'll send the coordinates to your terminal. Greetings. What might interest you here? It's dangerous. Oh, uh, we, uh, nothing really. You see, we're just on our way south to the city. Excuse me, about this detection beacon. Run, everyone! I can't move. So hungry. 
Oh, but, but please don't arrest us. We really had no choice. What happened? Do you need help? The battles are getting real bad up north, and we couldn't live there anymore. Figured we have to go back to the city. We ain't eaten in ages, and we're broke. Some of us can barely move, cause we're so damn hungry. Then we found some expensive looking stuff here. Now that the military's out there fighting and nobody's really using these things, we thought it might get us a few pennies. A damage detection beacon might result in a sudden TD invasion from the direction it covers. Our frontline troops would face attacks from both sides. Have you thought about the consequences? But we ain't got the time for that. If we don't steal, we'd starve to death before the tacit discords kill us. You shouldn't be stealing public property. Please, return the parts. There's still some distance from here to Jinjo City. Here, you can have my flatbreads. Oh, and here's some money. This should be enough for you to reach the city. You're giving us all of these? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you! Come over and say thank you before you eat. It was nothing. Master once told me, the sage takes care of all men and abandons none. Watch out! I will not bend to injustice. Rover, Yan Yan, please step back as I handle them. Fine, you asked for this! Stop! We surrender! Take us in! Why did you attack us when I already gave you food and funds? Do you have other mouths to feed, aside from what we see here? Hmm, they seem trained. These are not ordinary people. Uh, of course we're ordinary people. We, we, just, we just joined the Exiles recently. We done some wrongs. I tried to run from the patrollers and left the city, but <laughs> dang, didn't know the battles up north were so crazy. Our new boss ran out of food before we could even figure out the camp. Figured we'd be better off just to go back to the city and get locked up. Then we ran out of food and cash halfway, so we turned to thieving. We ain't got the balls to rob the army, but with stuff just sitting around, why not? Hey. Since you're being so generous, how about you throw a little extra cash our way? There's a bunch of us, some injured too. Your first amount ain't gonna cut it for us to survive. No, wait. What I gave them was more than enough for them to make it to Jinjo. I used to travel alone when I left my master. I know how much it takes for someone to survive. Hey, what's wrong with you, girly? It won't hurt to give us more. Pain comes with coveting. He who knows he has enough is rich. It was only meant to sustain you long enough for you to reach the city. You don't understand, girl. You don't make money very easily in a time like this. If we can't find jobs in the city, we're gonna starve again. I came from a seclusive place, learning the ways of the world from scratch. It's been a hard time, but even I have managed to make a living with my own hands. If you really can't find any job in the city, come to Liu Xian Tea House and ask for Jian Xin. I will gladly help you search for jobs and work alongside you. <laughs> yeah, fine, fine. We'll go. Hurry, move, let's get out of here. I'm not listening to this lecture anymore. No, I wasn't trying to... Wait, please put that down. 
Ugh, quite the sharp eye you got. Fine, here you go. Hmm, is this the only detection beacon you messed with? Heck yeah! The first one we were trying to steal and you bumped right into it. Really? Then why does that one over there seem broken too? That, that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's been that way for ages. Plus, we ain't ever reaching it with all those thorns. I see. You may leave now. The military's base is not far from here. Shall we fix the beacons before going? I know another shipment of supplies has just arrived. I've confirmed it, but it's not nearly enough. We must reach out to the city again and demand more supplies immediately. But the approval process is going to... Tell them it's an emergency. We are working around the clock here. Any delay could mean the end of our defense. Do they not comprehend? Here's a list of what we need. I'll talk to them if you can't make them listen. Now go, go, go. Move, move. What is it? Why are we still not done distributing these? You new here? Are you backups too? Wait, you don't look like one of us. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers, and they are... Excuse me, one moment please. Careful! This chest holds vital medical supplies. If the wounded return and find no medicine, it's on you. Handle with care and precision. An outrider. So, you were part of the backup force, right? Now, I've got wounded soldiers coming soon, and you're just in time to help. Oh, sorry. Have to answer this. Yes, what is it? An overclocked resonator. Understood. I'll be there immediately. I'm sorry. Um... Could you do me a favor? The, the wounded soldiers are being sent back from the front lines. We need someone to escort them to the medics, but I've got to deal with the overclocked resonator now. Could you please take care of them? What exactly do you need us to do? Just make sure they are safe. The medics will take care of their wounds. Thank you. It's so busy here. It looks like they don't even have the time to catch their breath. Supplies, medical care, equipment maintenance, personnel management, and logistics. They must carefully manage these matters to provide vital support for our fighters. So this is what a real war looks like. <sighs> I had no idea it could get this bad. Most people would never have the chance to witness any of this. It's natural for you not to know. I think this is exactly what our military strives for, to ensure peace and safety for our citizens. It's a sacrifice made so others don't have to live in fear. <laughs> Are you alright? Uh, I'm okay, I'm just, just a little out of breath. Uh, it's okay, I'm, I'm fine. I'll go find a medic. Like I said, it's not a big deal. No need to fix me up. Let me go! Please calm down. Your wound is still bleeding. That's barely a scratch. You can't stop me. That's not bravado. My wounds can close on their own. It's my resonance ability. The medics should go take care of other people in need. Stop squirming, will you? We're here because you need our help. Calm down and stay where you are. Please hold him still for me. Sure. Have you confirmed the inventory? What about the spare list? Sort out the consumables as soon as possible and check our communication lines while you're at it. Ewer, deliver this list to Asha. Uh, you're not Ewer. Where is she? What do you need? Excuse me. I'm an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. This is Rover, and this is Master Tianxing who came here to look for someone. 
Jinjo is the gateway to Huanlong, and the Desert Rock Highland is the gateway to Jinjo. A single breach could have dire consequences. Our defense must hold at all costs. The tacit discords are not humans. They don't do truces or ceasefires. For as long as they exist, this war will rage on endlessly. Supply is the lifeblood of our army, and I am tasked with keeping it flowing, but now we are facing a shortage. I saw you help arrange the wounded there. Your show lamb would need your help more than I do. Thank you, but I must remain to oversee vital military supplies. Julian, so he never sent a letter home? The Midnight Rangers are no longer recruiting non-resonators lately. <laughs> but Julian was a stubborn boy. Last year, when the battles hadn't gotten so intense, he would trail us rear guards, eager to join the front line. Now, we sent him back to the city time and time again, and he just kept finding ways to come back. Eventually, I caved and took him in to help us here in the base. With the battle escalating, it's getting increasingly dangerous out here. I shouldn't keep him here any longer. I was just thinking about having the logistics team bring him back to the city when you guys showed up. Oh, now I remember. He should be currently on the floor above. Sure. Please excuse me. I'll join you later. What? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> please excuse me. Thought that was a grenade. <laughs> Is this a mangosteen? Well, it's not a local fruit, so we can only get it through imports. But with the recent tacit discord outbreaks, we've had to prioritize bringing in the essentials. We'll get back to importing more of these after General Jian makes his triumphant return. Now, currently, there's only one waterway open from Port Gunchao in the south of the city. Now, the rear guards would regularly go there to escort goods. Hmm, what more do I know? The military rarely buys this fruit for rations due to its short shelf life. Plus, it, it looks too much like a grenade, and that could cause some issues. Master Tianxing. Have you found the person you're looking for? Yes, I found Zhu Yan. We will return to the city with the logistics team. We will go find Mr. Zhang Ye to let him know he is safe. Zhu Yan is a man full of courage. Influenced by his veteran grandpa's tales, he longs to join the military and aid in humanity's battle against tacit discords. The journey with you has exposed me to immense suffering. But the battles on the front line must be even more brutal than what I've witnessed. Countless lives have been lost in this war. Master Rongfu once told me, The best sages gain enlightenment in the military. The mediocre sages gain enlightenment in the bustling cities. And the worst sages gain enlightenment in seclusion. I do share some of Juyan's feelings. However, Juyan disagreed with the intense training and tests required to join the military. He saw no distinction between ordinary people and resonators, and believed he could contribute on the battlefield, however small that contribution might be. I too found what Zhuyan said was reasonable to an extent, and I couldn't change his mind with words. So I tried to imagine what my masters would do. They I didn't mean to beat him up for nothing. My masters taught me valuable lessons through sparring, and I gained important insights from those fights. Now, who do you think won that fight? All tangles untied, all glare tempered, all dust smoothed. It is like a deep pool that never dries. How true! I've come to understand this line more. I promise not to use my forte in the battle, but Julian still couldn't take a single blow from me. After his defeat, Julian seemed to realize his weakness. Talking about confronting the tacit discords on the battlefield would be mere lip service, he said. He was just trying to convince himself that he could make a difference, not wanting to acknowledge his own limitations. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. When you have the time, 
Let's catch up at Liu Xia Tea House. It's my great pleasure to have met you. Us running into Master Tianxing was a one-off incident. If the Mangosteen indicates something about war, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Have you thought of something, Rover? I think. So, Madam Magistrate wants to tell us about General Tian, or about the war against tacit discords. <sighs> we haven't reached the front lines yet, but I can already smell the iron in the air. I sense tension and unease. Our soldiers stationed at the borders. <sighs> I hope they're okay. when I tried talking to you. What did you see? It felt as if I was seeing through the eyes of a tacit discord. I think I saw what was happening in the Norfolk Barrens. An imposing warrior wielding the power of a Qinglong. The Qinglong is the Midnight Ranger's emblem. It's also the symbol of General Tian, the leader of all Midnight Rangers. The front lines are not far from here. General Tian must be there, fighting alongside our soldiers to keep the tacit discords away. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a coincidence. We arrived near the battlefield right when General Tian was leading an attack against the tacit discords. Your vision. It might be what was happening on the battlefield not far away. The battle itself is a clear sign of an anomaly. The streams from the Norfolk Barrens feel more suffocating than ever. Rover, something on that battlefield must be connected to you. Though, we... but I didn't hear anything or sense any frequencies. Rover? According to Baja, the leaf showed residual fluctuations of tacit discords. Those fluctuations pointed to a certain set of coordinates. And that is... Teacher Village and the Central Plains. out <gasps> something's not right 
Why wouldn't it attack us? <sighs> Brother. <sighs> Brother. Br Brother. Help. <sighs> Help. It seems to only repeat these lines. This is not a common tacit discord. Tacit discords attack other living beings because they need to feed on those frequencies to make themselves whole again. When frequencies are scattered and recombined, a new tacit discord is born. This one probably devoured the frequencies of humans, turning the last bits of a human's consciousness into such monotonous mumbles. Are these words the last cries of someone innocent? Who is behind this twisted plot? I'm sorry. No, that's beyond my ability. I just sensed some complex feelings from it. A mixture of deep sadness and eager anticipation. Rover, I think I know what's going on here. It seems to be begging for help, but it's not asking us to help it. I can sense the pained cries of this tacit discord. No, the cries of this whole village. The village is crying, waiting for rescue. Something truly awful must have happened here and the victim's reverberations still linger. Based on the evidence we've found and the condition of these ruins, that didn't happen all too long ago. I can still feel it in the streams. Perhaps the tacit field has kept this village from being discovered. Or maybe someone has been intentionally concealing it. There must be something we can do. We may find the victims nearby. I can feel someone connected to what happened here is still close. I'll inform Chuzia about what happened here. Can we continue our search before the official investigators arrive? Sorry, I know it doesn't sound very convincing. It's just a hunch of mine, and I don't have any evidence to back it up. Thank you, Rover. Please stay vigilant. As for the little one here, let's leave it be. Ritualistic wooden plaques. But why are they here? These plaques are usually placed in ancestral shrines. And they seem to belong to a different time. I remember reading about something like this. People held large-scale ancient rituals periodically in their villages, driven by certain beliefs. I see. Let's check somewhere else. The area is a mess, but it doesn't look like a war zone. Someone was hurt and dragged away. Look, there are many footprints here. These are traces left by a fight. Someone was injured. These cards. Uh, the Fraxidus is likely behind it all. The Fraxidus? Yes. I don't know much about the Fraxidus, but as an outrider, I've worked on related cases. It's a group of extremists obsessed with fusing humans with tacit discords. They've caused terror attacks of various scales around the world. Fusing humans and tacit discords? We've seen signs of their presence in Jinzhou, left by lower-ranked members called Artificers. Above the artificers are the overseers, leaders with eerie abilities and unknown intentions. They pose a far bigger threat. No one knows their true intentions. Some members speak of world destruction, while others claim they seek eternal power. And there is one particularly insane overseer. He's crazy even by Fraxida standards. A man who sees no order and revels in destruction. I've seen similar cards in the physical evidence file of the Fraxida's related cases. They belong to this one overseer I'm talking about. They call him... Scar. If he's responsible for what happened to these villagers, 
Who knows what kind of cruel and twisted atrocities he's capable of? Guess you won't need my self-introduction. Oh, I spent... to hear it from me, then? Yes, I am Scar. Cruel and twisted maniac. We deserve a meeting free of such disturbances, don't you agree? The girl, she's gonna sway your judgment. Don't worry. I don't plan to make you hate me just yet. She is safe now. Well, let's just enjoy our time together for the moment. Forget about that irrelevant person, will you? I have a lot to share with you. To begin with, I heard you've lost your memories. So, it's true. That makes sense, given how fragile you were when you woke up, or I would have questioned the authenticity of those rumors. So, you noticed. Oh, I am flattered. No need to be so on edge. By now, you should have realized I'm just one of the onlookers. But out of all the onlookers, I'm the only one who came forward to meet you with absolute honesty. Before you knew anything about this world, you were already the center of conflict. You are the unknown variable we've been waiting for. Forces have been fighting for possession over you. From the moment you opened your eyes, everyone you've met, including that girl you care so much about, they all knew how valuable you are. The world is a cruel place. You are a living, breathing person, but you're just a pawn to many. That's why I'm here, because I see you as a dear friend, and I want to tell you the truth. I am so, so sorry for everything you're about to face. But truth hurts sometimes. <laughs> I know you are not one I can sway with simple words. My goal is simple. I just want to deepen our mutual understanding, nothing more. Come on. Observe the surroundings a little more and tell me what you see. As you learn more about this world, your true desires will surface. And our little game will become even more entertaining. And before that, I don't want anyone to disturb my precious alone time with you. That's all. Ah, uh, why do you have to assume we are the culprits? Maybe you should be asking me what actually happened here. I won't tell you everything just yet. That's too boring. As I said, why don't you take a look around and see for yourself? So go ahead. What do you see? Bravo! Didn't think you'd catch on to that. 
Now, what is the conclusion you've drawn? I see you don't really trust those villagers. Ah, so they were right about you. You are indeed quite exceptional. I like it. Your keen observation, precise judgment, and accurate understanding of human nature. Let me give you a couple more tips. The truth is far more complicated than you think. First, who are the players in our tale? An innocent girl, a revered leader, and a flock of simple villagers. Next, what makes up our main plot? False devotion, fleeting kindness, collective deceit, senseless killings, and the one vulnerable soul pushed onto a path of destruction by the masses. Now, Rover, the story is yours to spin. I'm eager to hear your version after you've learned more. Huh? What is it? Are you back? I see. So, you want to cheat, huh? A clever move, unbound by convention, I like it. But I'm not telling you more. Not yet. Wouldn't want our first conversation to become a boring exchange of words, just parroting each other's lines. You don't want to disappoint me so soon, Rover. Come on, no need to get so worked up. I see you're itching for a fight, but our game isn't over yet. Strike now and risk being crippled. And what a shame it would be to miss out on these crucial clues right in front of you. After all this effort, do you truly want to throw it all away? Oh, are you seriously going to judge me off of those rumors alone? Oh, I knew it. Gentle lambs like me are bound to suffer. Never given a chance to speak for ourselves. Well then, I suppose I'll have to be a little more ruthless with you. Play nice and go investigate the clues in this village. Then I might show your girl some gratitude for leaving us be. Otherwise, you may have to bid her farewell forever. What do you say? <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. Such a burning desire for battle. But how could I have the heart to decline? As you wish, then. The rule setting shepherd or the rule breaking black. If a sane person manages to survive in a realm of lunatics, would you call them the last one of you? Rover? Rover? I shattered Scar's illusion. That should have injured him. Oh, should I thank you for showing me mercy? Stay away from him! Uh, didn't you promise to leave me some alone time with Rover? With one condition. 
I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. <sighs> Look at you, rushing in to protect your precious, perfect movement. No worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Rover, it seems our happy little date must come to an end. But don't forget my sincere reminders. Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? An honest and open exchange? Or a highly risky gamble? The choice is yours. I know how smart you are. You won't make a hasty decision. We'll meet again in the not too distant future. They're gone. Should we go after them? Oh, don't worry. I'm okay. Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. He trapped me in confinement, and I could only sense that it wasn't far from here. It took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. If only I could have reached you sooner. Brother. Brother. Huh? Why are you here, little one? I've never seen any tacit discord display such vivid emotions. The brother had mentioned. Could it be... Yes, that is a possibility. Since Scar had been here before, let's talk about it later. Rover, can you fill me in on what happened? It seems all the tragedies in Tea Tree Village were linked to that ritual. Making up stories based on real life to support its twisted beliefs? That does sound like something he might do. We cannot take his words for granted. Now, we must locate where the ritual took place and see for ourselves. Hmm. What's the matter? Two distinct frequencies of tacit discords. I see. I can feel it in the streams. Over there. Follow me. In the south. They are unharmed. Please rest assured. As you anticipated, Scar did not try to kill them. Yes, I stayed out of it like you asked. Is everything all right on your end? Please be sure to stay safe, my lady. Look! The water is going down! I can't believe it! There is such a big opening down here. How odd. This place should have been soaked in water, but everything is dry here. Even the vegetation is thriving. Hmm. Did Scar do this? That tree. It's stunning. It's almost eerily enchanting. Please, save us. Are you trying to tell us about something hidden here? That girl just wanted to save her village. But those sacrifices didn't lead to redemption. I guess the tacit discord we saw stayed here to convey her last wishes. Please excuse me. 
It's getting a bit too cold here. Can we head back now? Sorry, Rover. I didn't feel comfortable down there. The air was heavy in that place, without any wind to speak of. But I could still feel so many emotions and desperate cries for help. I... I couldn't handle it. The villagers were a complex mix of emotions. Hope, resentment, and despair. And as I read the diary, I could feel the intense sorrow and longing of its owner. What was the diary's owner longing for? Was it the peaceful life she once had? Or did she miss her only family? The person who pushed her towards such a tragic end. My apologies. I got lost in thoughts again. I wish I could say such tragedies won't happen again. But I still lack the confidence to make that claim. It was tragedies like this that made me want to become an outrider. To become someone with the strength to stop them from ever happening again. I cannot stop the lament. But at least I should do everything in my power to help those affected by it. Really? Thank you, Rover. Dwelling on it won't do us any good. Let's go. I'll compile a report on what happened here and send it in along with the clues we've gathered. Yes, let's go back. Together, 